Welcome everybody to Nine's Corner. I hope you're doing well, feeling well. And I saw Mitch McConnell. I saw all these videos pop up on my YouTube feed that was Mitch McConnell gets upset. Mitch McConnell gets emotional. Mitch McConnell's talking about the stimulus package. And honestly, we need to just ask about Mitch McConnell because I have a feeling that this has so much less to do with the actual stimulus package and wanting to help people. I think this has something to do with Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump is trying to make a deal and this stimulus, you know, push and everything else has to do with that. So I just want to look at Mitch McConnell and just see what is Mitch McConnell up to. And then we'll just have a look at Donald Trump's December because I just, I just got a hit that this is going to be um, this is going to be related. So let's just have a quick look in and see what's happening there with Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. <laughs> oh, boys. Oh, boys, guys. Okay. So first up, we have the stars. So here, Mitch McConnell is being very hopeful, but this is also networking. This is getting to all the different resources that you need. So I believe that Mitch McConnell behind the scenes is the one that's really pushing for Donald Trump. Right after that, I got the moon card. So here, this is deceitful. This is being done behind the scenes. This is being done in the dark of night. This is dark deeds. This is, the, this is trying to cover up dark deeds. Then I got the six of wands. So Mitch McConnell, is in O. This is something from the past. He is in O to somebody where he has to be the negotiator. There's a push on him to be the negotiator. So it's all it's a story within a story. You have the Donald Trump story, but then there's a secret Mitch McConnell story that's going on. But I will tell you, um, reading on his energy. It's um, it's really peculiar. It's a this is a man who he's got a lot of karma and it's a lot of internal everything he's done he's done to himself. So there's this there's this destiny in which he had to play a part but his part was because of his own doing it something he had to cover up from his past there's definitely a past element here and doing it like he was the chosen one to go deal with trump so there's something happening there so let's have a look and see what's happening with trump for the month of december so i thought we'd look at it you know sort of like the first to the seventh the eighth to the 14th and that kind of way. Uh, I'll be interested to see what the third week brings because third week would be the end of for December 21st, which I'm just going to do a separate video about December 21st because it's an important date. And I thought it would be a great way to kind of look at December going into January, hitting what significance December uh, 21st has and then doing a reading so that everybody can kind of see how their their um, their December into January is going to go. So that'll be like a little fun reading just for us. So let's have a look and see Donald Trump for the month of December. All right. Let's flip over the first week and see what we have. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, but it's in reversed and it's covered by the Seven of Cups. So there's a deal that's, be, that's being cooked up behind the scenes. The unfortunate part is that they're trying to rush it through, but Donald Trump, he's getting paranoid. He's getting worried that there's something not right about this deal, or he's worried that um, they're leaving loopholes so that he can get himself in trouble. Um, 
You know, I feel as though Donald Trump is going to be approached. He's going to have all this information, all these deals kind of given to him. And he's going to once again pull a Trump and say, you know, I'm going to go with my own instinct. And he may be right because, you know, the people around him are not supporting him. The support that he thought he was going to get is not there. This is, this is... Um, this is people, because it's upside down, there's a lot of people that he thought was going to be there are not supporting him. So this week is a week of him feeling really paranoid, having things offered to him, and he's not 100% sure which way to go. So then we get into the second week. Ooh. Wow, okay, second week, five of pentacles. Donald Trump is incurring debt on top of debt, on top of debt, on top of debt. Uh, you know, and this is being pushed out. So he, behind the scenes and in front of the scenes, there's gonna be more and more Republicans and Trump supporters who are going to drop him. And he's going to feel pushed out, left out, isolated, and this is going to feed into his paranoia about what he should do going forward. Because then I have the Three of Swords reversed. So this is going to be a drama-filled, chaotic money war. I'm, there's a money war happening for Donald Trump. And he's not going to be sensible and try to figure out which way should he go to make it the least harmful to him and his family. He's going to come out and just be like crazy and, and trying to cause as much chaos as possible. He's not going to take this lying down. There's going to be a battle, a battle about money. And that's going to make him even more paranoid about what people are offering him because he's afraid that they're setting him up so that they give him a deal, but the deal is only partial. So week three, <laughs> this is just too funny. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. So here's Trump. He's coming out. He's looking for a battle and he's looking for a resolution. But his resolution is to use strength, to use his mouth, to use his, you know, trying to fear, put fear into people. Whereas if he would just quiet down and negotiate, he'd do so much better. But then covering it, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So there's a really strong want from behind the scenes to create harmony. And they realize that the only way to get harmony and to get Trump out of the office is to deal with money, the money situation. So in the middle of December, we're going to be hearing a lot about money, debt, and there's definitely negotiations going behind the scenes. So for week four... Week four, so week four is the end of December, December 22nd, 21st, 22nd. So this is right up till Christmas. We got the magician. So here he is. He wants to start a beginning. Um, this could be that he's going to leave the White House for Christmas. I really get a feeling that he's going to walk out of the White House more or less giving the middle finger and move on from there. I don't see him returning to the White House. Once he leaves the White House, whenever that shall be, I don't see him returning. But this is really dependent on whether or not he gets the offers that he wants. But he's really confused because he's paranoid. But then we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a twist of fate here. There's something that allows Donald Trump to trust whatever it is that they're saying. It might be an alternate route to what they are suggesting. Maybe he'll get, you know, he'll be able to get his own way or he'll be able to find some way to be able to say, see, um, you know, he got the upper hand in some way in his own weird little warped mind. But again, this is karma coming for you after the fact. But I could see that this, this could be him doing a disappearing act at the end of December. So I want to know, um, will, he go to a, will he go to the inauguration? 
I've asked it before and I don't see him going, but let's just ask again. We'll ask, I'm sure we'll ask before he goes in. Let's see, what do we get? Will he be going to the inauguration? Will he be going into? No, I really don't see it. Here we've got the Queen of Swords. She's being ruthless. She's being a witch. Take the W out. And then we've got the Six of Swords, but it's reverse. So this is just delayed plans. So, you know, he might play for a while. He might be kind of saying, oh, you know, maybe I should show up or maybe I'm going to do this or maybe I'm going to do that. But whatever plans he's got, he's going to put them on delay. He's just trying to be a jerk about it. Oy, are we surprised? No. So the last question, because I've seen it a number of times, let's ask. Will they, will Jill Biden and the new uh, administration come in and fix up the poor Rose Garden? Will they fix up the Rose Garden? Oh, my darlings, not on, wow. Okay, so three of pentacles. They are going to put special effort into this project. They're going to try to bring people together through this. There is going to be a real want, need, and desire to put out that um, unification. They want to start uh, putting out positive thoughts, positive things. And I think this is going to be one of the tools that they're going to use to try to bring people together. So I think they're going to ask, uh, there's going to be, it's not just going to be Jill Biden saying, oh, do this. It's going to be them bringing people together because this is somebody planning. They're going to be, I think they're going to really um, reach into the future, or reach out from the past and really try to put something that represents bringing people together again. So that's a really sweet thing. The Rose Garden is going to be significant. So thank you for asking that question. <laughs> awesome. So that's my little political read and I thought, oh, I hope you guys checked out uh, the live read we did on Celtic Tarot Sheila's channel. Um, we had so much fun, it was awesome. So if you haven't checked it out, it's fun, check it out. So that's my quick read for today and as always, I have our Unity Candle lit for each and every one of us. I thank you all for your time, for your likes, for your comments, for your emails. I appreciate it all. And if you want to reach out to me, you can find all my information in the description box. So until the next time we talk, cheerio. Take care.